Let's bring in Mercedes Schlapp, former director of strategic communications under President Trump and CPAC Foundation senior fellow, and Juan Williams, Fox News political analyst. Welcome to both of you. Good to have you here uh, today. Mercedes, nice to let me start with you. The, the president tried to sort of, I don't know, amend this a little bit. There was a lot of backlash today and even from some surprising places. So he said, no, I don't, I don't consider all Trump supporters to be a threat. What did you think of last night and of that effort just a short time ago? Well, I got to tell you, this primetime address, this presidential primetime address was more of a political advertisement instead of really addressing the issues that matter to the American people, uh, including, obviously, rising inflation and the economy. I have to tell you, I was so upset that, pre that President Biden would use this time to basically try to demonize millions of Americans who simply love this country, who love the values of this country, that stand up for freedom. And I just found it to be uh, so discouraging that a president would decide to act more like a DNC chair than serve a as a president of all Americans. And so if it, if it makes me extreme that I want parents to have the opportunity to choose what school their child goes to, if it makes me extreme uh, to want to secure this border, if it makes me extreme that I want to make sure every American has economic opportunities, then go for it, Joe Biden. Go after me, but don't go after those millions of Americans who work hard every single day to make sure that this country is successful. You know, Juan, uh, I just want to get your reaction to what Mercedes said. Uh, upset was a word that I heard a lot today about watching this last night. What was your reaction? I think anyone who says that they are upset needs to take a look in the mirror here because Joe Biden was pretty clearly talking about people who rioted to try to undermine the U.S. Constitution by stopping certification of a fair, honest election. Uh, that Donald Trump lost. These are the people who threaten the life of the vice president, Trump's own vice president, Mike Pence. Just recently, Lindsey Graham has said that if Trump is indicted, there'd be riots in the street. So you stop and think about, you know, people who don't want to accept a defeat, an electoral election defeat. Uh, and then President Trump just this week said he wanted to do the election over. That's, a, that's, an, that's anti democratic, that's extremist. I, can, I mean, it's beyond extreme. In some ways, you know, Joe Biden could have been stronger last night in saying these, this action by the Trump supporters, uh, you know, constitutes a threat to our democracy. And you see President Trump continuing down this path now. It, 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 he holds control of the Republican Party. Joe Biden, as you said, Martha, in that, you know, was very clear today talking with Peter Ducey. He's not talking about all Republicans. He's talking about the MAGA extremists who would resort to violence and continue to perpetrate outright lies about the 2020 election. You know, I mean, it's interesting. When you, when you talk about the election, and my mind goes to back to Hillary Clinton saying that President Trump was illegitimate, that Russians had elected him president, that she would never recognize uh, the outcome of that election. So th this danger, this goes back, it's woven pretty deep into the populace these days. So uh, it seems to me, Mercedes, that one of the effective things that President Biden could have done is to try to unwind some of that. And that's what he ran on. That's what he said he was going to do. But, but what I'm sensing now is that uh, those around him are telling him, this is the way to go. Go right at the heart of this. Don't talk about inflation. Don't talk about crime. Don't talk about the border. We're just going to trump, trump, trump everything. Because as we're going to talk about in the next block, uh, even the education secretary now is blaming President Trump for what happened in the pandemic with schools. Right. So they, I got to tell you that the political office at the White House must be looking at the numbers and saying, look, vilify Donald Trump, vilify his supporters. Uh, Juan, I'm sorry, that's not what Joe Biden said last night. Oh, just those specific MAGA Republicans. It was directed to the millions of MAGA Republicans out there. I have to tell you, I've never seen a politician go after the people the way Joe Biden has gone after so many Americans. 
yeah, I understand if you want to go after, you know, those of us who are in, in the media or, or political analysts or those Republican strategists, fine, or go after the politicians. It's another thing to have to go after, basically use that term MAGA Republican. And they've been building this narrative for quite some time, bringing in the, you know, ultra MAGA extremists, semi-fascist. Those are anti -amer it's anti-American words to say semi-fascist here in America, because at the end of the day, what we're so concerned about are these progressives and this leftist agenda that's infiltrating so many aspects of our lives that the American people are rejected, rejecting. The majority yeah. of Americans disapprove of Joe Biden and his policies, and his only way out is to criticize Donald Trump and millions of, of Republicans right, around the country. Thank you both. We got to leave it there. It's going to be very interesting to see if it works politically, because what I'm sensing from Mercedes is that it has completely fired up uh, the conservative side of the aisle, and there was an effort to make a broad brush, uh, as you as you have pointed out, at a lot of these voters. Because if it was purely about people who were indicted for crimes, that that's a very small handful of, of individuals that you're talking about. And he didn't talk about violence on the other side of under trying to undermine democracy oh. on the other side. So um, I, I think that's going to be problematic. But we'll see. We'll see if it's a good political move uh, and what the reaction to last night is as as we roll through the midterm period here. Uh, thank you very much, you guys. Juan, thank you. I know he's shaking his head. Juan, bye. Bye, thank Mercedes. You. Bye, Juan. We'll pick it up next time. Good to see you both. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.